What's going on guys, Crypto Renegade here. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about Kala Network, pre-production privacy nodes on KSM. Let's get into it. But before I jump into the content, I just completely revamped my website, bitcoinlockup.com, as you can see here. There is some exciting stuff coming and you can always preview my newest videos there before they hit YouTube or any other platform. There will also be exclusive bonus content coming that will not be made available anywhere else. And here we go. Welcome back. So, of course, in some of our last videos, we've talked about the Polkadot projects and their overall impacts on the crypto ecosystem. I've also covered Solana projects, Cosmos projects, and of course, dug deeper into NFTs. Now, we are taking a look into Kusama, Polkadot's cousin, and the projects that are sliding under the radar on this very expensive test network. Today, I wanted to touch on Kala Network, which is pre-production privacy nodes on KSM. What is it? Why was it created? And how does it connect to Fala Network? And ultimately, why you should start paying attention. So what is Kala? Kala Network tackles the issue of trust in the computation cloud. It went up! It went up to the cloud! You can't get it down from the cloud? Nobody understands the cloud! This blockchain is a trustless computation platform that enables massive cloud processing without sacrificing data confidentiality built around TEE-based privacy technology already embedded into modern processors, Kala Network's distributed cloud computing is versatile and confidential. By separating the consensus mechanism from computation, Kala ensures processing power is highly scalable. Together, this creates the infrastructure for a powerful, secure, and scalable trustless computing cloud. As a member of Parachain of the Polkadot cross-chain ecosystem, Kala will also be able to provide computing power to other blockchain apps while protecting the data layer, enabling possibilities like privacy protected DeFi trading positions and transaction history. Co-computing DID confidential data, developing light node cross-chain bridges and a whole lot more. Fala Network or Kala is preparing for its first crowd loan on Kusama. Now, Fala Network has been preparing to launch Kala Network, which is its sister network on Kusama and just happened recently. Fala Network is competing for a parachain slot on Polkadot later this year, and Kala Network has now officially won a parachain slot on Kusama. First, Fala is launching Kala to show that they can successfully integrate their parachain into Kusama's Polkadot's Canary Network after successfully winning the parachain slot auction and integrating into Kusama, Fala will be ready to launch as a parachain on the Polkadot network. Now, an Ethereum Kusama bridge is now live on the Kala network. So Kala network is progressing to the next stage, an Ethereum Kala bridge, and it is now officially live. This is the first official parachain Ethereum bridge on the Substrate ecosystem. Kala Network is a parachain of Kusama based on Substrate and is the canary chain for Fala Network as I previously mentioned. Kala went live after winning a Kusama slot auction in mid-July. A referendum on the new TE tokenomics will be held on Kala after it's been running stably for some time. They expect to introduce the new tokenomics and the TEE mining mechanism shortly afterwards putting into practice the new token economics released a few weeks ago. Kala is a prelude for the Fala mainnet, and as a canary network, it serves the role of a test pilot and proving ground for Fala. Can you prove yourself aware? That's a difficult question. In the future, it will provide services to innovative and growing blockchains and serve the entire DeFi space. Now let's shift real quick to the Fala and Kala tokenomics. Fala's original economic plan allocated the initial token supply into several categories. This was refined and extended as described in the Kala slot auction strategy announcement. Here is the breakdown of the token supply and the distribution. TEE mining 70%, a total 700 million have been frozen in tokens. Private sales of 15%, so 150 million total, and 120 have already been unlocked 
and the remaining 30 million are still frozen. 1% for test net incentives, total 10 million and nearly 4 million have already been issued. Parachain slot auction allocation, 6.9% or 69 million are locked up. The team is allocated 5% or 50 million and 35 of which have been unlocked. The remaining 25 are frozen. Now, after the team's completion of the asset transfers, the total amount of KPHA will potentially be 266 million, but actual circulation 88.3 million. So how does the Kala network connect to Polkadot? Well, as you know, Polkadot's chain Fala network wins Kala's fourth Kusama parachain slot, moving it closer to its overall Polkadot launch. With its win, Kala network joins Akala's Narura network, Moonbeam's Moon River network, and A-Star, previously known as Plasm's Shiden network as a parachain on Polkadot's canary network, Kusama. The fifth and final Kusama parachain slot is based on the current auction schedule will be awarded later this month. All the KSM tokens contributed to the winners will be locked up for the duration of the lease and the project can renew their lease by winning another auction. All right, now what am I bid for this fine specimen? Five dollars. Really just wrapping this up, on-chain services currently being developed on Kala Network include Web3 Analytics, high-performance smart contracts from Kala enable highly concurrent mass data analytics with privacy. Now paving the way for an alternative to Google Analytics that inherently respects individual confidentiality. This lays the groundwork for people to have analytics and data, but also at the same time have it decentralized and private where you control your own identity and data. The complete opposite of what Google is doing now. Now, does this project have the ability to dethrone Google? As of right now, no. But if Google doesn't start paying attention and adapting to the new era of decentralized governance and control, they very well may self-implode under their own arrogance and their own pride. Better watch out and adapt. And then go ahead and click right here in the top right corner to watch my videos on the Ares protocol on Kusama in the top right corner. I will see you guys in that video now. Crypto Renegade out.